by popular request. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the trail bike you see appear in all my skill videos. So first, a little background information. I need a bike that's versatile and that can be used as a general trail bike for longer endurance rides, getting me to the top, but still have enough suspension for me to open it up and have fun on the downhills. I also need this bike to double as my dual Salm race bike. That's why I opted for a 2016 Trek Remedy 9 with 27.5 wheels. This was provided by my friends at Danny Cycles, a series of bike shops based out of the New York City area. Trek is a make, Remedy is a model, 9 refers to the component package, 27.5 refers to the wheel size. I'm 5'10 and typically run a medium to large size frame, but that's not how Trek measures their trail bikes, so here I'm running an 18.5 size frame. Out of the box, this bike comes equipped with 140mm of travel in the back and 150mm of travel in the front. I swapped out the rear shock for a Cane Creek Double Barrel CS, which has custom adapters to fit this frame. In the front, I'm running two volume reducer tokens to make the spring rate more progressive. This means the beginning of the suspension can still be nice and supple, but it ramps up more quickly than a linear spring. Overall, I actually kept most of the stock components on the bike. You'll notice I swapped out a lot of the cockpit components to have a shorter stem and wider bars. Doing this makes the bike feel more like my downhill race bike. The wider bars and shorter stem makes getting rowdy a lot easier. The final touches were a DDC and a Cane Creek headset that matched the color scheme, and this tied the whole bike together. The tires I'm currently running are the stock XR4 and XR5 tires, but I'll be swapping to something a little bit more rugged like the SE4s when I get a chance. I'm also running the stock SRAM 1x11 setup, which is pretty good, but I think I will also be swapping that out for a Shimano 1x11. The reason for this is I like to swap the cassette out and shorten the chain when I race to a Psalm. Doing this with a SRAM setup and XD driver gets quite expensive. One of my biggest pet peeves on a bike is messy cable routing. I simply use electrical tape to keep things nice and neat. So that's my trail bike. I'll have the full list of components up on my website for those who are interested. My name is Phil Metz, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you next time.